the numbers are ticking over, are they? Yep. So what we're going to get you to go through and do is find a bench. It can be the bed height if you like. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're going to be stretching here on the right hand side and we're going to be pulling the foot towards the butt bottom. The more forward the foot is that's on the floor, the less the stretch. The more forward that is forward, the better the stretch. Yeah. But if this foot is forward, then yep. you get more so, stretch. Yep, so when this stretch foot goes more forward, you get a better stretch. Mm -hmm. When I take this backwards, I get less stretch. So now I'm getting a much higher stretch. In this position, no stretch. That's the first thing. It's the reason we don't get you to do the stretch in a standing position. Because you don't get enough stretch. Yeah, so you need to be lying down. That's why we're okay. doing it this way. Okay, yeah. okay. So in this position, you're holding and you hold it for about a minute at a time. If that's getting too easy there and you're not feeling the stretch, you need to take the foot that's on the ground more forward into this position. I'd also suggest at home that if you don't have something this height, you can just lean, find a windowsill or even a kitchen bench or anything the side of a couch just to lean the knee on and that will produce the same stretch in that position. Stretch one, two. Keep it rolling. <coughs> in this position, we're gonna stretch the front of the hip and I'll get you to stretch the front through the front part. The key here is feeling the stretch in through here. I try and get you to tuck the tummy right underneath so the black is not arched. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, that it's it's not in an arched position, but it's in a flat position. Mm -hmm. That will, you'll feel the stretch from the front. Okay. When you're doing this stretch, if you go right forward here, you haven't actually got the back flat enough. When the back's flat and not arched, you don't feel the stretch now because I'm too arched. Now I'm flat, that's ready to do the stretch and you'll feel that in the front. I'll oftentimes use my hand, I'll get a better stretch through the front and hold that for a minute. Yep. Third, <laughs> down on the floor, stretching the front of the hip into this position. So onto your stomach, taking the top leg back and you'll feel a stretch in the front of the hip and you'll do the alternative in there and you'll feel that through the hub run, a minute stretch at a time. All of these are about a minute, but you can repeat them a couple of times. <laughs> we'll also get you on the floor to stretch the front of the hip in a figure four position. When you're looking down, it's in a figure four. And we get you to try and push the knee into the floor and you'll feel a stretch at the front of the hip in here. Hold this for about a minute and it's a hip stretch and a couple on each side. Same on the other side and think about grazing the inside of the knit hip when you take it outwards like so. <laughs> Keep it rolling. <laughs> We're also going to start you on some strengthening today. <clears throat> and the strengthening exercises will be with some elastic in this position and actually video this into the mirror. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get you to start strengthening. <coughs> now, you'll forget your feet apart and I'll get you some elastic and you'll feel this into your glute muscle. Like so, two minutes. Lift the feet up. These are buttock strengthening exercises. Particularly important in trying to keep the leg in the right position when you're cycling and so forth, which has a big effect on the knee. So glute strengthening, glute, you'll feel these here. Yeah, and you don't want the knees to roll in on the <laughs> That's correct, and that's what this is doing. Is you're having to work really hard. <laughs> okay, so this is two minutes now sideways. Shoulders don't rock, they just rotate. That's correct, so when you're doing all of this, it's not rocking. This part stays nice and stable. I'm happy with rotation in the shoulders. When you're going forward, two minutes each, rotation here, but the hips are staying nice and stable. Two strengthening, third strengthening on your side. <laughs> in this position, it's a strengthening for the glute on the underside, 50 repetitions on each side. Make sure the hips are right forward and we get a, a strengthening exercise and we do 50 each side. Uh, don't think. 